Hey, Dre, Jason with Crown 4, how you doing? I'm good, how about you? Good, man. Uh, was it uh, difficult getting up for today's game, given uh, all the events uh, in our nation's capital? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say difficult getting up for the game due to the things that's going on. Obviously, it's somewhere in your mind. Um, you know, it's ridiculous and, you know, all of those things. Uh, but overall, you know, we still got to, play better than we played today, although I thought defensively we were pretty good. Uh, we got we just need to be better offensively. What did you think about what happened today in D.C.? I think it was ridiculous. Um, you know, it's it's baffling to see the the reaction that the law enforcement had and um, you know, whoever else was involved from a a, you know, authoritarian standpoint uh, to see the National Guard standing on those same steps when, when there was a peaceful protest and now to see um, a terrorist attack and, and, and no National Guard, it just goes to show you where this country is, where this country is always has been and probably where it's going to stay, uh, to be quite honest. You know, I mean, nothing's changed. You know, I think, you know, through social media and all of these, you know, different things that we have at our fingertips today, you're more aware of things, but nothing's changed. This is the same America that, that it's been. Um, it's no different. You know, I, I've seen a lot of things of, of shoot them like 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 we would have been shot. I, I don't think that's the right thing to do either. I think stop shooting us. You know, uh, no. I think that's that's more of a battle cry than than necessarily shoot them. Um, like we would have been shot. Just stop shooting us. You know, and ironically, you know the news that's come out of Kenosha and these places you know, within the same 24 hour span as that happens. And then you kind of see that it's just like a slap in the face and almost a fuck you to every black person in America who goes through these things. Um, it's almost like they want to show you that they have power and, you know, um, and want to show you that I can say fuck you and there's nothing you can do about it. And, and so, uh, I mean, that's just, that's just what this country is. That's what this country has been. And like I said before, that's where this country probably will stay. Uh, Draymond, uh, Marcus Morris said post game that he thought kneeling tonight wasn't enough. He thought that the game shouldn't have been played. Um, what do you think should have been done? And what do you think the league has to do? Uh, I mean, I don't think the game sh should have been canceled. You know, we have a job to do just like everyone else. If we're not canceling school and canceling everyone else's work, then ours don't need to be canceled either. Uh, that's, you know, that's not the answer. I mean, and no disrespect to Marcus, by the way, that's his opinion, and we're all entitled to our own opinion. And so, no disrespect to him and his opinion. Um, my sentiment is just, you know, my opinion is just a little different. Um, you know, I think it, there's always kind of this cry and on cancel the NBA game, protest the game, don't go play. You know, but if we're going to protest these games, if we're not going to go play, then everyone in America has to be on the on the same thing. You know, it can't just be like, oh, the NBA canceled the game and they didn't play. And, and everyone else just go to work. You know, that, I mean, that, that's, that's not the answer, in my opinion. Um, and... I think the NBA is doing what the NBA can. You know, we we speak up. We you know we do all the things that everyone has been doing. Um, but at some point, you know, we need lawmakers to change laws. Uh, you know, this it just goes to show the police 
policing system was built against black people, you know, black and brown people. And that's the reason those reactions are different. That's the reason someone can walk or run or bust their way through or whatever into the speaker of the house office and put their feet on the desk like they're sitting at home on their couch. That's, you know, that's, and, and nothing happens. Um, you know, and, and we, you know, stop calling them people protesters. They're terrorists. They're not protesters. Protesters is what you saw when we saw 500 National Guard members standing on those same steps when there were black and brown people saying, we just want to be treated equally. That's a protest. Um, storming, you know, storming into a building and, and busting out windows and carrying podiums and, and all that other stuff. That's not a protest. That's a terrorist attack. And so uh, stop using the, 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 like, stop describing those people the same way you describe someone who just stand there and make a chant and say, we want justice, we want peace. Stop using the same word. It's disrespectful. It's ridiculous. Um, and it's shameful, you know, to, to keep calling them protesters. Not fucking protesters. They're fucking terrorists. Great. Y'all have a great night.